Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brooks, that gratitude guy with the Gratitude Podcast interview. And today, yet another good friend, my good friend, Ashley Womack from back in Indiana, I believe. But uh, that's right, Indiana, right? Indiana, yeah. yep. That's right. Anyway, welcome to the podcast, Ashley. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. There we go. Did there you we hear? go. Okay. okay. <laughs> See, we're just talking. I never should have said anything. So, so just a couple <laughs> of quick questions. And you think about Ashley and hubby and kitties. Um, what has been your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? I think probably, honestly, just choosing my attitude. Um, mm. We have small kids, one of who's kind of aware of what's going on and the other one who's just thrilled we're all home. Um, so oh, yeah. just choosing to have a good attitude. There's a lot of scary stuff happening in the world right now, um, but choosing to appreciate that we get to be together right now. Um, we'll probably never get this much one-on-one -on -one time with each other, True. which is good or bad, depending on how you look at it. But right. I think, yeah, just choosing to be in a good attitude every day. I, I, I mentioned that in talks difference. about things that are a choice. It's a choice to be grateful, a choice to be happy or sad or up or down. And I just, people argue with me about that. And I go, no, no, no. Every day you get up, you make a choice. So that's a, that's a great choice. And so speaking of that, so we've got such uncertain times. What would you, what do you think you're most grateful for today? Uh, that everything's green outside. <laughs> Indiana has a slow spring and it's finally starting to look green outside, which is making being inside a little bit more bearable. Excellent. Excellent. That's a good one. And we forget that too. I live in Seattle and it's so green out here and it does rain a little bit, but green is a predominant color, which is really neat. So, uh, so any tips, thoughts, ideas, uh, for people that are going through this that might help them that have worked for you? Um, getting outside every day, if you can, um, mm -hmm. just getting some fresh air, being somewhere physically different. Um, we've made a big deal a couple times a week. We're trying to support the local restaurants around us. So we're oh, nice. placing a carryout order. It gets us out of the house. Um, the change of scenery. No, uh, nice. so just trying to, you know, if, if you can take a walk, take a walk just to change up the scenery a little bit because it can get monotonous being in the same yeah. environment and being at home all the time. So True. that would be probably my biggest tip would just be try to get yourself a little bit of a change of pace. Good idea. Good idea. And lastly, does Ashley have a, I love to talk about people in third person. Does Ashley have a quote or a philosophy that kind of sustains you whether it's through this or anything when you're going through challenging times it's uh this is something like kind of a mantra or anything you kind of go back to that kind of kind of helps you through times like this um i guess for me i when i'm in a see the big picture uh and remember is get through a minute or 10 minutes or an hour um, so when I've been through stressful situations, that really helps me that this isn't the ending point. It's just mm. a moment along the road and that there's, there's going to be more to come. So that's, I, I really try to keep a big picture outlook and that usually that's helps me in stressful situations and stuff like that. That's excellent. I've mentioned that uh, doing these is helping me get little tidbits and things that can help other people. And there's nothing better than helping other people. A number of people have said uh, this too shall pass, which is, is something so important to remember because this is the biggest thing probably most of us will ever go through. I mean, even being on the planet a long time, it's, uh, this is going to go up to number one for me. And you think about I was alive and Kennedy was killed and 9-11 and, um, and so forth. But yeah, this is going to be at the top. So uh, just remembering that that's really good. That's really good. Cool. Yeah. So excellent. Well, thank you for those sage words of uh, advice and thoughts and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we will chat soon. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ashley.